Hey, what's going on guys? It's Rachel. Welcome back to my channel. If you are returning, if you are new here, welcome. I am a part-time reseller on sites like eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. And I use my YouTube channel to share with you guys what I'm sourcing to stock my stores with. I'll show you the unboxings live here on this channel, and then hopefully it helps you make decisions for your own reseller business. Or maybe you just love watching me unbox things. That's fine too. Um, if you are returning, welcome back. Um, we are in my new office, um, really trying to beef up my inventory for April, 2022. So I've got a lot of unboxings this month. If you like content like this, certainly consider subscribing to my channel. I have been doing unboxings a lot this month um, just because I am trying to really beef up my inventory. I had a goal of 300 new listings for April. Let's see if that happens. I don't know, you'll have to stay tuned. Um, but this is a box from Jomar. This is the garden party box. And it is 50 dresses, or it's supposed to be 50 dresses. And I got it on sale for $104 free shipping. So drop this video a like if you like unboxings. And I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. So it didn't specify any specific brands or anything. So I'm guessing it's gonna be um, like a mix, you know, hopefully with a low cost of goods, I can get some decent stuff out of here. So I haven't opened this yet. I'm opening it for the first time. And then what I'll do is list everything on my five platforms. I do use list perfectly to cross list. So it gets everything in front of as many people as possible. And then I'll come back 90 days later and let you guys know what actually sold out of this box. You know, it's great to show you what's in here, but what matters is what actually sold. So here's what it looks like inside. I've got my signature one piece of blue tissue paper that does nothing, but hey, I'm not gonna complain because I reuse that stuff. Okay, so we're looking for 50 dresses. Let me see if I can make some room here. If you guys have been watching my channel, you know I have just been obsessed with selling dresses. So I am good with adding some more in. Um, if not, I'll take some stuff to Uptown Cheapskate. This brand I've never heard of, Julie Billart. New to me, um, doesn't feel super high end, but it's a cute little black dress. Um, so, okay, start. You know, if anything, and I've said this before, these unboxings are a good opportunity to learn about new brands. Cause sometimes there's gems in here and I don't even know it cause I've never heard of the brand. Um, this is, there goes the belt. Um, the brand is is Buyer. I don't know if that's how you say that. And this is a department store brand. There is some staining on the back. I'll tell you that right now. Um, this I probably will take to Uptown Cheapskate. Just because that's not a brand I typically source. Let's see, what else? This is the brand Ailson. Never heard of this. I figure if I can get a good like 10 to 15 pieces out of this and I take the rest of these to Uptown Cheapskate or uh, I send them to ThreadUp, I'm okay with that. This is a size medium. It feels very cheap. It almost feels like a nightgown, but it's probably not. This is the brand Petite Sophisticate, which I don't know where that's sold at. I think it's an older brand actually, but the dress itself is cute. Um, I love the floral print. It's really nice for spring, that purple and blue. This is a size two. By the way, if you are wanting to know how I price this stuff, or if you want to know, um, you know, how I described it, or if you want to purchase any of it, um, my Poshmark, eBay, Mercari are linked down below. Uh, I do try to get all this stuff listed before the video goes live, so that's going to be the goal here too. This is Derek Hart, and it's like a sleeveless romper. This is kind of fun because it's tie-dye, and it is a one-piece, but it's sleeveless. So, okay. That'll probably go to Uptown Cheapskate. I don't even know how to photograph that. Um, the brand is Manto. This one's got some, this one's got a spot on the bottom here. Hmm. So nothing earth shattering so far. 
But with the low cost of goods, I really, you know, I would expect that there might be some good pieces, but not everything, right? We don't usually get that lucky. That's, what is that, YA Los Angeles? Oh, it's like a cutout. I mean, it's cute. Wait, it's fun. It's even hard to show you because it's cut out. I'm sure it looks better on size small. This is Caution to the Wind, which I think is sold at like Nordstrom Rack. This is a cute little mini dress. Oh no, it's a romper. Cute little romper. I think my strategy, if it's all this kind of stuff, I might take it all to Uptown Cheapskate and then decide what to list after I take it up there because I, there's nothing, nothing's really standing out to me just yet. Prince and Fox, Prince, yeah, Prince and Fox. This is also a romper. I don't know, it's like I should list some of it, but I don't, I don't know, it's hard to figure out what to spend your time on. This dress is halogen, size medium. I do like the flowers on this one, but it's, it feels like it's silk, but it's probably not real silk, but it's, I don't know, I wouldn't want to wear this material when it's hot out. Ugh. This is Cooper Street. Boy, they are really throwing in the brands I have never heard of today. So this is a spaghetti strap. This looks like it would probably be cute to wear like to a wedding, like a wedding guest. Okay. A part of me wants to just list all this to see how it does. And then a part of me is like, boy, that's gonna take so much time and space. I don't know. This is, when I see this at the thrift store, I get excited until I realize it's not Lily Pulitzer. It's Pink Lily. And this is a cute little dolman sleeve, is that called? This is also a romper. I mean, I guess rompers are good. People like rompers. They're on trend right now. Rompers, I'm sorry, they're not easy to photograph. That's the only thing. A lot of times it's hard to see that it's a romper the way I take photos. So that's the challenge. Uh, this is the brand Divided, which is H&M. Um, this is a maxi dress. Oh, okay, maxi dress. Hmm. I see flowers. I love the floral prints. The brand is Sienna Sky. And this is like a midi dress. It's got the sheer underline. Oh, it buttons up. That's really cute. Okay. This is Derek Hart again. This looks like an older Derek Hart, size large. So this is a solid knit maxi dress. This is the brand Candies, which I think is sold at Kohl's. I think it's a junior's brand. Uh, this is a small. Boy, that is super cute. Oh, that's a romper too. That is super cute. Oh my gosh, I might list that just because of how cute it is. Uh, this is Ocean Drive is the brand. And this is, this is a dress. This is a sleeveless dress. I'll tell you, I don't like uh, photographing sleeveless dresses either. It's like you have to lay it on the ground. You can't really hang them up. And they don't tend to sell really well for me. Do you guys sell sleeveless dresses? Let me know. I, uh, I have a hard time with the sleeveless ones. I wouldn't want to buy a sleeveless dress without trying it on, so I kind of get it, but um, this is, 
I don't know how this even goes. Maybe it's like a halter. Oh no, it must tie in the front. Oh, okay. So this must tie, I think this, this must be sleeveless also, or yeah, and it must tie in the front, like here. The brand is Windsor and it's a jumpsuit. Here, let me back up so you can see. I love this new office. I can back up and actually show you in my camera. Yeah, so this is, um, Windsor is the brand. I don't see a size. I'm going to try not to have to deal with that one because of the way it's like laid out. This one is Unity. This looks super out of style. Uh, and that does not look like, I don't know if you guys can see it, but the shape of this does not seem like it would be very flattering. All right. Uh, this is the brand Sadie and Sage, which I've never heard of. It does not feel like it's anything earth shattering quality wise, but it is a romper. Hmm. All right. Everybody's favorite, LuLaRoe. I like the camo rose going on here it is a two extra small so that's kind of a hard sell but i mean it's got the pattern going for it so i might list that i don't like to list lularoe but i mean if i have it i will oh here we go i tend to do pretty good with express um i don't really source it all that much but when i receive it in a mystery box i will list it now i will need to try to find a stock photo because look at this it's like ruched on the side. So like, how do you photograph this? I don't know. I'm sure it looks really cute on. I'll also have to make sure too that there's no flaws. Okay. Fever, bleed, fleur, fleur. Okay, I don't know how to say this. And I've also never heard of it. But it's really pretty. I'm a sucker for florals. Is this even in style right now? I don't actually know, um, but I am a sucker for florals. Um, and that's really pretty to me. Um, this one is Acceleration, which I think is JCPenney Jr.'s line, but the dress is cute. It's like a, it's textured and it's off-white maybe or beige. Are you guys still with me? Drop me a like if you're still here. I appreciate you hanging out with me. I know uh, there's a lot to go through here and nothing super earth shattering so far. It's a mystery to me too. This is Blue Island and this is like a t-shirt dress, button up blouse dress, size large. That looks like it'd be super comfy for summer, like by the pool. This is the brand DR2. I've seen this in the thrift store, but I've never picked it up. So this has got some nice boho vibes. All right. This is Bebop, which I don't ever pick up. Uh, <laughs> it's very loud. Very, very loud dress. I feel like some of this is not even like Uptown Cheapskate. Some of this needs to go to Plato's Closet. The problem is I went to Plato's Closet a few weeks ago and they took nothing. Like I took them like a 50 pound bag of clothes and they took zero items. Um, so I'm like, I'm like afraid to go back and waste my time. Speed control. This is very cute. It is strapless but I am really loving the pattern. A lot of these dresses get A plus on style. It might be time for me to just experiment with style-based listing because 
Some of this stuff is so super cute. Okay, this is Gap. Gap is definitely a brand that is in my comfort zone. I like selling Gap clothes, and this is a wrap dress, so it's very pretty. Um, is this current? You guys know with Gap pieces, yeah. Usually on the tag with Gap pieces, you can see the season. So that says fall 2018. So I know that this is a relatively current piece, just a couple of years old. Um, so I would probably keep this to list myself. Taru, Taro. Never heard of this brand. The print is pretty, but this feels like super cheap. Man, I forgot about these 50 pound boxes, how much work they are, <laughs> or 50 item boxes. Vibe sportswear, that's kind of cute, right? It's like a high-low, so it's uh, shorter in the front. Again, nothing I've ever heard of. Doesn't feel like it's very good quality. So these are all just kind of no brand dresses, I think. Okay, BCBG Max Azria. This is not a brand I, I typically pick up, but I'm gonna look up comps on this one because maybe, just maybe, this is a good style. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, this one's Urban Outfitters and it is a ribbed, it's got the cutout. Okay, this has got the cutout in the front. So this one is a size medium. I would probably list this one myself. That one is in style enough and a recognizable brand. I would feel comfortable listing that one. I'm not sure what's going on here. This is the brand Mink Pink. And I really don't know what's going on here. I guess it's like a, yeah, I guess I can see that. Okay, it looks really funny from back here, see? <laughs> um, yeah, okay. This is like chambray. Very slinky, the back kind of hangs down, whoops. And it's a romper. Yeah, it's a romper. So I guess you would layer like a t-shirt under it. Plaza Italia. I feel like this is a deep pop box because if you were somebody that could like model this stuff, you probably could make a lot of money on this box. But that is not me. Um, Doe and Ray. This looks like more of a, like a wedding guest or even like a bridesmaid dress almost. It's very flowy, a little more formal. It is high-low. I feel like it's a good dress for like taking like graduation photos, which you probably would have done in the fall if you were going to do that. Um, capsule, don't know this brand either. This looks, I don't know. This looks either really outdated or so outdated it's in style, I can't tell. So it's got like the, the, I can't think of it because I moved and I've been doing so much house crap. This just reminds me of a shower curtain. It's got the shower curtain sleeves, a hood, a zipper all the way down, and a lace up back. I'm not sure, there's a lot going on with this. I can see the bottom, but there's still quite a bit in here. This also looks like a maxi. The label says beware. Oh no, it's a jumper. It's kind of cute, right? Maybe. Some of this stuff I really just like, the person that owned it originally, I really want to see what it looked like on them because Somebody had to have picked that out in a store and said, I want to wear this. 
This is the brand To The Max. This one seems a little more outdated, I think. And also it's that funny material you don't want to wear when it's hot. New York and Company, which I probably could have guessed just by looking at it. Uh, this is a, is this a skirt? Oh, it's like a shark bite hem, shark bite hem dress. I don't really think that's in style right now. Oh, this is a maxi, I think. India Boutique is the brand. Oh, this is very pretty, actually. What size? I don't know what size. I don't know, maybe a medium or a large. This is very pretty. I see some tassels. Derek Hart, again, is the brand. Um, there's a lot of tasseling and tying going on. There's tassels on the side, maybe both sides. That one's going to require some figuring out. BCBG Max Azria again. Now this one, I think, is a little more out of style. Um... I might send it to thread up. I do have a couple partner kits left. I don't know if they shut them down or what because I haven't been able to print my labels. But the last one I ordered, I can't print the label, but there were three or four others that I ordered that even though I wasn't ready to send in, I still printed the label right away, so I have those. Um, this is C Sono. This is chambray again. Um, oh, it's a full button front. A fun pattern. Halogen. Very, very bold print. This one's got some wear on it. That's all right. I have never heard of this brand. Antibes Blanc. Don't y'all just love watching me like butcher the names of these designers? Like seriously, I feel like that's that's what I'm good for here. Um, so this is a maxi, and I'm digging the material. It's a high low. I'll have to look this up. I don't know if this is worth anything. I've never heard of that brand. Polka dots. Sandy and Sid. I feel like I've been at this for a minute, but I feel like there was other Sandy and Sid in this box. Super cute romper or jumpsuit. Super cute jumpsuit. That's adorable. I'm going to have to list some of this stuff based on style. You guys all have to let me know in the comments if you're still here. Let me know which ones of these should I like list based on style. I don't even know. I don't know how to do that. I always list based on brand. Um, this is American Rag. Again, very pretty maxi. Oh, it's a high-low. Are high-low dresses not in anymore? Is that why I'm getting all the high-low dresses? Or are these just so fast fashion? Couple more. This I don't think has a brand at all. This is like a no brand, just white cover-up dress. No brand at all. This is just about a girl. Plain red, little mini dress. It's almost like a t-shirt dress. Oh, I think this is the last one. 
Of course, it would be something like gray. What is this? Um, the brand is Kiddo. I have never heard of. And it is a midi sort of color block. It's jersey knit, so it's like stretchy. All right, let's make sure that there's 50. All right, so I actually counted 51, which I'm okay with counting one over as long as I'm not under. All right, so my initial thoughts. Um, there's nothing in here to write home about. I'm sorry if you guys waited till the end to see like the big reveal of the most awesome item in this box because there really wasn't one. There is not really one piece that stands out like, oh, this one is gonna make my money back on this box. Uh, my cost of goods was $2.08 per item and that's what I got. I got a bunch of sort of no brand, cheap cost of good type items. But I will say this box is as described. It is florals, it is spring dresses. It is what I would expect to get um, based on the cost of goods advertised and the box that was advertised. So I am satisfied with it. Um, I do think that there's a lot of pieces in here that are on trend and a, a current enough style that I can make some money on. I'm also going to have to challenge myself a little bit to list some lesser known brands, some more sort of fast fashion. But I'm also going to take some of this to buy, sell, trade and see if I can make some of my money back there. This was just for fun. The cost of goods was so low, I really couldn't resist. So... Um, let me know your thoughts, though. I'm interested to know what you guys think. Would you have picked this up, knowing that the cost of goods is only $2.08? Um, if there's anything that stands out to you that you're like, Rachel, you really should list that piece because I know it's on trend or whatever, help me out. I am not a trendy person. <laughs> so definitely drop me in the comments if you think so. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Um, regardless of what happens, I will do a 90-day update on this stuff and let you guys know what I took to buy, sell, trade, or how much money I made at buy, sell, trade, and um, what I decided to list, if anything sold, and if I made my money back. So definitely stay tuned for the 90-day update on this one. Otherwise, I have a lot of work to do. I better get to listing. So that's it for today. I will catch you guys in the next one.